Hey, hey, everybody. Hope you're doing well today. This is Brad Cartwright with Econ Course Companion, and today we're going to take a look at perfect competition, but one very specific thing that you need to know how to find every single time that you sit down and draw a diagram to show abnormal profit, normal profit, or loss in perfect competition, or frankly, in any of the market structures. But let's take a look specifically at perfect competition. All right, so take a look at what we got here, right? We have the price takers market structure because we know that perfect competition is a market structure where the firms have to take a price. And where do they take it from? The industry. And the industry, therefore, simple supply and demand diagram, right, for microeconomics will indicate a price and that price must be taken by the firms. All right, if you don't understand that, go back and check on the previous videos. So now, over here, operating in the firm market, what we've done is we first drew the demand and average revenue curves, and we know from previous videos and our studies that in the perfect competition market structure of price takers, the marginal revenue is equal to the same price point, okay? So we got a perfectly elastic demand curve, average revenue curve, and marginal revenue curve. All right, then the next thing we do is we take our pencils and we draw the marginal cost curve. Wow, check it. Then you stop because you know where MC equals MR, you have found the most important piece of the puzzle for firms, which is, it is their profit maximizing level of output. Profit maximizing level of output is where MC equals MR. Okay, so right at this point, this is not the revenue maximizing point necessarily. This is not um, anything else. Think of it just solely as the point where at this quantity, this quantity is where this firm has the potential to make the most amount of profits because it is this point where their marginal costs equal their marginal revenue. If you don't understand why, check it, check it, check it. If this is 10 units of output and we go down to nine, we go up here and what do we find? Ah, well, the cost of making this piece of output is less than what they can get in the market for it. Ah, so guess what? They will make some money on that unit of output because their costs are lower than the revenue they would earn for it. Ah, but let's take a look. That's 10. Let's take a look at 11. What's the cost of making this unit of output? What? It's up there. And if they make that unit of output, guess what? They're only going to get P for it. So on this unit of output, they're going to lose money. So at this point right there where MC crosses MR, you have a point where the firm knows to stop making output because if they make one more unit of output, it's going to cost them more than what it takes, than what they'll make in additional revenue. So this is the profit maximizing unit of output, and this is going to be exceptionally important when we look at how to show on a diagram how firms operating in perfect competition, the price takers marketplace, are going to behave or decide whether or not they are making abnormal profits, whether or not they are making um, normal profits, or whether or not they are making a loss. And just a little teaser, folks, let me tell you something. If you know from cost, revenue, profit, there's only one curve left on here, and it's something called the average total cost curve or the average cost curve. Let me tell you something. If the average cost curve, which should low point needs to be on the MC, is below the price point, this firm will make abnormal profits. If the average total cost curve of this firm comes down as a tangential point here and extends up there, then this firm will be making normal profit. And if the cost curve is over here, bottom of it, the lowest part of it on the MC curve moving up, then we know that at this quantity level, this firm will be making a loss. And if you need more information on that, check out the next videos that are coming up on abnormal profit, normal profit, and a loss. I'm just showing you this point right now, which is super important. 
which is the profit maximizing level of output because it is that moment where MC equals MR that this firm has the most chance of making profit and now you got all the power because wherever you draw that ATC curve, wherever you draw that average cost curve, which by the way is the same curve, named differently, you can show any of the profit levels. All right, my friends, stay tuned. Here we go. It's going to get cool. I hope this video was helpful and we'll talk to you in a bit.